What up, what up, what up? Roderick Rip Jones, and I'm here with, uh, who are you? I am your wife. <laughs> <laughs> What's your name? Hey, y'all, uh, I am Monica, Monica Jones. Today, we're gonna do our, we're gonna start our first ever okay. podcast. Yeah. yeah. And the podcast is gonna be called Together in Contrast. Contrast. And yeah, and I don't want to take up the whole talking, you know, because y'all, y'all already know if y'all watched our other stuff, family, shh, yeah, that uh, you know, I'll be going. So that's okay. What, Monica? Uh, maybe you can give a breakdown of what "Together in Contrast" is or means. Um. Well, it's about being together and having differences. So. We're together and we work through our differences. It's about accepting a person for who they are. And um, basically, we're doing this podcast as a type of form of, well, I am as a type of form of like therapy and communication. Yeah, because I don't want you speaking for me. (laughs) Because like, you know, when you be, so we've been in a relationship for a long time. And in that time, people... How long? 28 years. That's because we already did a take on this. <laughs> how long, how long, how long we done been together? We done been together for, like, you better... <laughs> look, but, look. like, no, like... She 20, don't even know how long it's been. 20-something years. She don't even know how long no, it's no, been. No, 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 like, <laughs> I would have to, like, sit here and literally do, like, the... the... I should be upset right now. <laughs> I, I would have upset. to do the calculations. It's been that long. Like it's Yeah, we've been knowing each other since we were twelve. Yeah. So it's been a, it's been about twenty eight years. Yeah. yeah. You know and we were saying? together for basically every day. Yeah. And so I had to remind her. You see, that's the difference right there. <laughs> yes, I don't know dates. No, I don't know. Usually it's been the men a long be time. Up. I know that right. Usually I, the men be yeah, messed up all we're days, but that. You're, we we switched. Yeah. He know all of the dates and stuff like that, and I'm the one who. But that's that's a long time, long time. to be around each other. That young, we still pretty young. Yeah. You know. And uh, y'all can add up 12, you know, plus 28, and then y'all get our age. Ages. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know, and to not have killed each other by now. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> just uh, just call it quits. You know, it's, yeah. a, it's a constant fight. Yeah. You know, because when you want somebody, you're going to fight for them. Yeah. And, it's uh, work. And also, you have to still believe in in a relationship as mm-hmm. well as each other, mm-hmm. you know, to, to keep it going. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And you got to constantly improve and you got to constantly adapt and change. Yeah. And I think that's why we kind of, that's what the title kind of means to us. You know, as far as together in contrast, it's like, you know, we together right. and we, um, I feel like you have to accept um, your spouse's differences, accept them for who they are yeah. and not try to change them. And when they do change, you accept that new them because when you're in a long-term relationship and you've been with somebody for a long time, there are going to be changes. You're going to change. They're going to be changed mentally, physically, spiritually. Right. So it's going to be up to you to decide if you you know, like this new person, if you want to be with this person, right, you right. know? Because I know we've changed a lot. Yeah. And yeah. we're still changing. And that don't mean, like, don't have expectations for, you know, that's why y'all got to talk. Like, yeah. You got to talk because I feel like when you get with somebody, you're not get with, getting with them just for the now. You're getting with them because you can see them for the long term. You know what I'm saying? As far as a a real real relationship right you know so um but you got to communicate about the change and everything and you got to be real you got to be real with yourself you know a lot of times we get together so if we was together at 12 that mean we were growing up we didn't know who we were really right uh, because as you grow you start to understand yourself better and understand who you are mm-hmm. right and you come in times you you know of course it down the line you come in times where you 
be like, I don't, I don't know this person, mm -hmm. or they're going too far, you know, you know, they're growing, you know, as far as growth wise, you feel like they're growing faster than you right. or, you know, so, but you know, that's why we, we want to do this podcast and we're hoping that, you know, um, hearing us could help couples and um, help them through some things that they may be going through. And you all can ask us questions and give yeah. us topics, you know, um, to help us as well, you know? Maybe you got some advice for us, right. you know? So, you know, and we all ears, you know? We, we, we're we pretty open uh, as far as- Yeah, but not too open though, to your bullshit. <laughs> We know that, you know, people have opinions and, you know, and we gonna answer, you know, we want you all to ask us questions because we gonna answer, you know, what we answer. And, um, and I feel like this is just gonna be a, a real uh, podcast and candid, you know, and uh, we gonna talk about intimacy. We gonna talk about, um, uh, financial kids, yeah. you know, everything that that makes a marriage, everything that breaks a marriage, yeah. you know, because um, I'm using this for therapy, y'all. I'm using this for communication. I'm using this for to, to find relatable couples. Right. You know what I'm saying? I mean, this is how you meet people now. Like, you know, <laughs> this is how you kind of talk to people now. So it's like, this is we, we want to get into it you know yeah and 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 it's not gonna be this this not politically correct i ain't no therapist no. we ain't none of we that say what we, say. we just it's we are who real. we are we've been in our relationship yeah. we 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 know what we've been through we know how to sustain we've um you know we fought we still here yeah. you know we work together we still here sometimes we don't work together we, we still, still here, here. You know, so that's what it's all about. Together in contrast. Together in contrast. So, <clears throat> uh, how often do you think we're going to be doing this? Once a week. Basically, once a week to start. But once we get comfortable, because, like, right now, I'm not even comfortable. Like, even the way I'm sitting. Like, it's I'm just posturing. the introduction. It's I'm like, we, well. we can't give them everything in, like, one. We just, this Who is just. we give them one thing? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, as far as the look and everything, this is just. You know. Yeah, but once we get rolling, uh, it'll be more. Yeah. It'll be more frequent. Yeah. You know, uh, because it's a lot. It's it's a lot to talk about. Yeah. So, yeah. but right now, we, I'm still not comfortable. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so we might as well get into it a little bit about like, you know, how we met, so we can get past that part, so nobody don't have to ask us. Right. Yeah. So basically. <laughs> We met at 12 years old in middle school. Yeah, yeah. I was a nerd and I grew up, I was a suburban girl, so I grew up with, you know, all of the kids in the neighborhood. We went from school to kindergarten to uh, high school. So I knew everybody, you know, and I was, like you said, I was nice. So I ain't have no issues with people. And um, I was a mama's girl and, uh, you know, family, we had a close knit family. I'm a twin, so I, you know, I always had somebody to talk to. Right, <laughs> so, right. Um, and uh, I had boyfriends, but it was like, you know, real like kid. It was not anything intense. It was very like, oh, you, you want to be my boyfriend? You know, like the note, yeah. And then y'all see each other in school and it's like, you know, like that type of mm. stuff, you know, and we, you know, it, it wasn't nothing like extra. Yeah, for me, uh, you know, I came from St. Louis. Uh, what I realized, a lot of people don't know about St. Louis, and, uh, but very dangerous, hood, hood, hood. <laughs> of course, there's some, some good areas out there, but we didn't stay in those parts, so I'm just <laughs> talking about where we was at. Uh, me and my family, like, uh, we moved around a lot. And then we moved up here, you know, when we met my stepfather. And um, since I was young, I always had a girlfriend. Um, I can say that for me, you know, I used to walk, hold the hands, swing, stuff like that. I'm talking about even at five years old. So don't tell nobody. 
but still wasn't too intense. Uh, I had stuff that I like to do that I didn't want nobody to bother me on. So that's a girlfriend or anything. So, uh, but yeah, you know, I always, I was pretty smart, but I, I say until high school, I stopped applying myself as far as that go. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. As far as high school, you know, maybe boys. the tenth year, tenth grade, I, I was like, man, this school shit stupid. Yeah, you know? I, I wasn't like that. Yeah, <laughs> and uh, so we met. Like I say uh, middle school. Yeah. Uh, Southwood. Yeah, yeah. Southwood Junior High, Country Club Hills, or wherever it's located. Yeah. Hello, everybody. Yeah, y'all know <laughs> who we went to school with. I was pretty popular when I came. I guess you know how you know how it is. The popularity of the uh, oh new student, oh crooked tooth, big gold, mm -hmm. don't talk like mm -hmm. nobody else. You know, <laughs> and and you're still Mr. Popular. To you know, just like as far as like how people are drawn to you and and you I, talk to a lot of people. I mean, I'm stuff. cool. Like, <laughs> I, yeah, I guess so. Yeah. I'm cool. Like, you know. If you cool, like, you know, people like your personality and everything. Yeah. 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 But me, I ain't really care about that type of stuff. So. No. No. If y'all see my shirt go in front of the camera. Okay. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, so I uh, was playing on the basketball team, all that. The teachers liked me, called me Hot Rod. Hated it. You know. Uh, <laughs> and, you know, that was that. Monica, you can tell them about yourself. The, this, this guy, like, well, so, like I said, I was real, just uh, a nice girl, nice, smart, nerdy girl. I ain't, I didn't experience a whole lot, mm -hmm. you know. I was sheltered, spoiled, you know. I was spoiled too. Um, just different, but like. You know, and like I said, I've been around all of the people in my neighborhood since kindergarten, so it wasn't really no newness to me. And then he comes to school. He starts going to school, and it's like, boom, this... Like, first of all, I ain't never seen a kid with a gold tooth. Like, <laughs> Me either before that? myself. Like what is that? You Before know, myself, I had this goal since I was ten. So he was he was automatically different, you know, mm -hmm. and um, but I didn't even know. I thought he was somebody else when he came to the school. Yeah, yeah, she did. She. Uh, and she was talking to my sister before. Yeah, so. I was friends with his sister before him. Yeah, yeah, and uh, you know she had the wrong perception of me. Uh, I was talking to one of her friends. Yeah, and she had, she was having trouble with him. Yeah. And she was already like asking my advice. Now, mind you, like I really hadn't really been in no relationships, but of course, the girlfriend that ain't got a boyfriend could tell another girl. <laughs> you. Know? Mm -hmm. But I would tell her, you know, give her advice like, mm -mm, girl, you need to dump him. You know, it was like so that at that kind time of you weren't talking to uh, old boy. Oh yeah. Yeah, I, I don't forgot. Know. Look at that. Yeah, and then to my memory. Selective memory. memory. Yes, I have very selective memory stuff that I don't. Yeah. <laughs> so I did. I did have a boyfriend. But like I said, it was like, you know. But anyways, she was telling me about him, and I was like, you should dump him. He ain't treating you right, girl. Mm -hmm. And you know, I was that girlfriend, like, mm, girl. You know, so I didn't like him because I felt like he was a player. You know, I felt like he was talking to all these other girls. Well, and I ain't really even know him. You know, it was just like, that's what you do in school, you know? Yeah. So you bash the guys. Yeah, and I was cool. Like I said, I just, with her friend and with the other girls, it's like, you know, I would just say yes to anybody because. You know, I ain't like hurting people's feelings. I, you know, when you're young, you ain't thinking about like, okay, this girl like you. You say yes to her. This girl like you. You say yes to her. Man, then he was. They gonna be messed up. Yeah. Like they gonna and be of tripping course, off. Every over. girl wanted to talk to him because he was different. Like we are. Like wasn't no boy like him at our school. You know, 
But he was from St. Louis. He had a gold tooth. He just had he had a different swagger than the suburban boys that we knew. So yeah. everybody wanted a piece of him. I can say I was different, but you know, like I said, me, I wasn't tripping off none of that. No, um, but <laughs> you know, the gate her back. friend, her friend wanted me to be a certain way at a young age, you know, and I wasn't. She was fast. All I cared about was I ain't gonna say that, but she <laughs> might have been. Uh, she, she, I guess she was, <laughs> but I didn't. You know, I just wanted to play basketball, and like I said, I was saying yeah, just to be like yeah, and um, you know, that pretty much was it. You know, I was doing my thing in school, like grade wise, everything. So, and you know, like I said, Monica had this whole idea about me because of her friend. Yeah. And it was just because I wouldn't do, I guess, big kid stuff, even though where I was from, you know, people's already having sex, all that, you yeah. know, but I wasn't on none of that shit. You feel me? I think when I, cause I didn't know you lived so close. Right. And I think when I saw you in the neighborhood and I that's when I my view of you changed. Right. Well, I actually well, the day you was being fast. <laughs> you don't want to talk about that, I'm sure. Huh? Okay. You want to skip that or are we going to talk about it? We could talk about All it. All right. I ain't so, ashamed of, of me being high. But we're not going to make this one too long. But yeah. we just want to give y'all a sneak peek into, you know, this is just the intro. Yeah. It's going to be a lot where we really get into yeah. detail. But, you know, <laughs> oops, I ain't going to say no name. So skip the name. <laughs> Remember to X the name out. <laughs> uh, but the, her friend, I guess, you know, they planned on kissing their guys. Oh, yeah. Right. Yeah. Let's get into it. Yeah. So, we, she wanted to kiss him. And, you know, I wasn't really into kissing, but I wasn't scared to do nothing. Right. Not that I had never, I didn't really, hadn't done it before. I think I had kissed a boy before, but, you Don't know. Don't tell your mama. I'm, you're going to get in trouble right now. You know, it wasn't a big deal. I, like, this type of stuff wasn't a big deal You're going to get me. in trouble really right now. That. I'm telling your mama. Shut up. Like, I just wasn't that type of person. I just didn't care about that. Type. So kissing wasn't nothing to me because I didn't really like, like, people. I hadn't, I don't think I had, you know, really experienced that strong, you know, puppy love like yet. I hadn't experienced it, so I didn't care. So she wanted to kiss him so bad, but she was scared. So I was like, okay, I kiss my boyfriend and then you can kiss him. And that's what we'll do, you know? And then that way oh. you won't be scared. Stop it and start. Okay, so we can have it. Yeah, you know, so I didn't, you know, I want, I wanted to kind of like show camaraderie. I wanted to, you know, uh, be a good friend. So we we decided to do it, and we go, and she's like, she got to do it, you know. Yeah, and that's what even what she said. She, <laughs> she, she said just, that to me. She was like, she just got to do it. When 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 it was happening, she came. She went to I saw Monica and the other guy. And then she came to me and she said, she got to do this. And I said, no, you don't. <laughs> and me and the other guy kissed, you know, because like I said, we was, it was just. We didn't, you know, and. Uh, you know, and that kind of surprised me yeah, that he didn't kiss her. So, uh, nah. you know, when stuff like that happened in your head, you kind of be like, hmm. Yeah, none of that. He, he different. That's, I'm surprised. Yeah, so, I wasn't on none of that. So, uh, after. You know, but that was my first time uh, seeing Monica, too. So uh, after that, I'm like, oh, I'm like, look at, look what the <laughs> that. Oops, I said his name again. Oops. Remember to X that out. I say, oh, look what old boy got. Very nice. But then when I saw her, when I, I we got on the bus, that was my first time riding on the bus, too. Yeah. I got on the bus. Was it the next day? I don't know. Whatever it was, I started showing off, though. Basically, the next day, or maybe the same day, I'm not sure. It probably was the same day. I uh, got on the bus, sat next to her, and I started, you know, talking to her. You know, I asked her about if she was good with that old boy. And I never, you know, I never usually do no stuff like that. And, you know. I think we both started doing stuff because I even started coming out of my character. What's my saying? Boys change girls and girls change boys. Yes. 
he 100%. always says that and this is so true because it it blindsided me and I y'all like off the bus and was doing booty dances trying to show off how you know uh you know <laughs> that's funny how I was a hot girl how good I looked or whatever and you know was dancing with his sister and some of the other little girls and just was completely completely showing off and yeah. that was that was it I was it was done I was so that's that's how we met and um I also the I think the next day or something I talked to to her guy who she was talking to and I made a bet with him that I can get her from him. <laughs> I didn't care, you know, and she didn't know about it. I didn't know, yeah. and and it wouldn't have mattered to me anyway, right. you know, because by then I liked him, yeah. So I wanted to be with him, so it was like, you know, that type of stuff. Don't you know how some people like, oh, they dead, or oh, that's a like, I don't care about that type of stuff. No, and I mean, we was little, so yeah, and like, I did that because he said that. He bet I couldn't, so I was like, yeah. "Cool, you know." Yeah, it's I'll, like the wood. I'll try. You know, like I'll try. Like that, those bets, you mm -hmm. know, like who not gonna? That's that's fun. That makes stuff exciting and everything. Yeah, so. I mean, we was young, so yeah. a bet is a bet. <laughs> when you're young, you're young. You're Did not bet money. You're not thinking. No, it was I take your girl, and that's it. That's it. And it was fast. It was. It was not. It was the next day. It was like the. <laughs> it was the next day. <laughs> and he came. He saw. So. Yeah, that like that was like wow. Yeah. Proud moment, you know. I've never yeah. done that. Not gonna happen ever again. Clearly. Yeah. Yeah, but uh, so that's how we met. So that nobody would be confused. Nobody had to ask us how we met. That's out of the way. Yep. And so uh, we'll get more into everything, of course, as we go. Yeah. And uh, next week. We're going to talk about expectations. We're going to try to limit the podcast basically down to around like 30 minutes. Yeah. Right? Yeah. And uh, hopefully they'll be interesting. Uh, some of them going to be intense. I say we're going to talk relationship stuff as far as us, stuff that we hear about, yeah. politics, any anything that's going on that we want to talk about, we're going to talk we're about gonna it. Talk it's going to be raw and uncut. Um, it's going to be heavily opinionated when we discussing yes. about it because it's us so talking it's about us. our stuff so you know y'all can have y'all opinions y'all can leave whatever kind of comments y'all want yeah but trust me it's going to be very opinionated with with topics that we want to talk about and that we don't agree with or may agree with yeah. um like i said some of y'all might be Democrats, Republicans, and all that type of stuff. So when we talk in politics, y'all gonna hear it from us. Mm -hmm. Whatever y'all like, that's on y'all. That's on y'all. You know, it's gonna be raw and uncut. Yeah. And that's pretty much it. Yeah, yeah. Put in the comments, you know, let's talk about it. Yeah. Uh, you know, we wanna talk about spiritual, mental, yes. physical. Yeah. Um, because these are the things that can make or break. A relationship. Yes. Yeah. And, and we just and we know there's other people out here like us. You yes, know, everything is split. Let's share. Let's share in the struggle. Let's, you know, <laughs> please. Let's share in the struggle. Let's, you know, let's let's talk. Let's, you know, let's commune. Yeah. You know, let's have church. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You can be hurt. Like, listen, be hurt, but understand that we're not here to hurt y'all. No. Be no. happy, but understand we're not here to make y'all happy. happy. No. You understand? No. So let it be. The only person I care about. The same here. So just let it be. You know, and we enjoy ourselves. Yeah. And sometimes we're going to be upset. We're going to be mad. But it is what it is. And at the end of the day, we're going to be coming back together. Yeah. Because it's us being in together in contrast. Together we're in contrast. We're not going to agree on everything. No. You know, and we're not going to disagree on everything. No. But we're going to disagree on a lot. I think that's it. <laughs> All right, y'all. All right. Talk to y'all later.